Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome, it's Maisie and today I am doing a, well you've read the title, you know what this is about. Um, to be honest I wasn't even planning on doing a video today, I was just looking around at my plants and I was like, I feel like talking about my plants so here I am. Yes, I'm doing a video talking about Fans have turned off, <laughs> sorry. Talking about some of the plants I have in my collection that I think would make a very good beginner plants, but also a really beautiful and also cheap because, so this is for those who are getting into plants, but maybe you want to experiment and maybe you want cheap, but maybe the more unusual looking plants, not the, the classics like the pothos you know so um i mean those are really good plants but i wanted to include some plants that you don't usually hear on these kind of videos some will be the usual plants that you hear on these kind of videos but um some of them are just ones that i've had a really good easy time with and i would definitely recommend if you're wanting to start experimenting let's just get this blended in because she's a beauty Oh, I have my list here. Okay. What's on my list? Oh, Kidoki. Oh, that is not a good plant right now because that is covered in pests. Okay, speaking of my splendid. She is one of the plants on my list today. I'm going to have to put her down because she's massive and she's heavy. Um, so this is a Philodendron Splendid, a hybrid between the Vericosum and the Melanocrysum. Um, she is absolutely beautiful as you can see mine is getting pretty big and um, I'm absolutely loving her she's one of my favorites and um, she's one of my most beautiful plants to be honest um, but she's just so easy especially for a velvet philodendron she doesn't need like high humidity her leaves doesn't get stuck opening like the typical melanocrysum I think the only thing that you need is a moss pole um to get these the size the, the, the to get the bigger sized what am i saying <laughs> to get the big sized leaves you definitely need a moss pole for the aerial roots to root in and you can just see how small mine started out and it just it actually really quickly got um <laughs> got a good size and i don't really give this plant too much light either i mean i have a led light in front of her but honestly that was just so she could be facing outward um because she was facing all different ways um but i think she would be just happy with my i've got a south facing window she's probably like 10 feet away so she just kind of gets um a, a fair bit from it but i definitely recommend this plant if you're looking for a gorgeous um philodendron an easy philodendron also you can get these pretty cheap as well they've gone down in price so you could probably get a two leaf three leaf cutting maybe a whole plant for fairly cheap i'm so glad that i tried out this plant because yeah it's just been she's given me no fuss um i, I don't even think she's honestly had that many pests either maybe i've seen a couple thrips on her but i mean she's just given me no fuss and oh my gosh this plant grows like crazy i mean as you can see, I really love this plant. I'm so excited to talk about her. Um, when one leaf is opening, she's already working on another leaf. <laughs> oh my gosh. That leaf is just finished kind of hardening off. And as you can see, she's already um, starting on this leaf and it's beginning to show. So I cannot wait to see the size of that. She is such a fast grower, one of my fastest in my collection. And like I said, she's not one of these cabinet plants. She does not need a cabinet. Well, in my case, anyway, my room humidity temperature is probably like, honestly, like 45, 50, maybe. It's very low in my room. So yeah, I mean, and as you can see, she looks, she looks amazing. So 100% that plant, get it. <laughs> okay, Hoya Crimson Queen. Okay, the next one is a Hoya and uh, this is a hoya crimson queen um mine is looking like extremely crazy she is growing so long um yeah her vines are all the way down to here like she's gonna be as tall as me soon she's probably nearly like half the size of me which is absolutely crazy um so this is a variegated 
beautiful, beautiful Hoya and I just love her. I mean, look at all the different varieties of the leaves that I'm getting. I've got this bunch of like pure variegated leaves, which is amazing. Um, the white, the white leaves will eventually die off because there's no chlorophyll to sustain them, um, which is fine. Look at these leaves. But this plant has just been so easy. I, I mean, this plant, um, I think, is a easy plant generally. The same with that one. I think a lot of people find these so easy. Um, I honestly really don't do anything with her. She sits on my south-facing window, so like direct sun. She absolutely loves it. Um, this summer, she has absolutely grown up like a beast. And honestly, I water her every week, week and a half. Um, it's so easy to tell uh, when this plant needs watering. You can just tell by the leaves, um, just like give them a gentle squish. If they give easily, then you know to give them a water. If they're firm and hard, then you know, like that one is not, it's it's hard, it's solid, you don't need to give this a water. Um, and Hoyas do like to be a little bit snug in their pots, so, I mean, yeah, she's in a pretty small, oh my gosh, the roots, oh my gosh, I did not know that. Yeah, um, mine does need a repot. But, I mean, Hoyas do like to be snug in their pot, so, you know, it's fine. And, oh my gosh, I have to show you this. If you like flowering plants, blooming plants, then this plant could be for you, because at the moment, I have a peduncle on mine! It's go. oh, please focus, please, this is an exciting moment. I have to show you this. Mine is going to push out some flowers, hopefully! <gasps> okay, I have to be super careful with that, because that could drop off. Um, I saw this this morning and oh my gosh, it is the most exciting thing ever. Um, this is the first, this will be the first time this plant has ever bloomed for me, which is so exciting. And I think I've actually got, I've seen quite a few peduncles coming, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I'll definitely be showing you, obviously. Again, one of my easiest plants, I really don't hardly do anything with her, and um, she's constantly growing. I've got loads of different vines all around, as you can see. Um, so yeah, she's just kind of a low-maintenance plant, uh, for me anyway, and I would recommend, especially if you wanted to get into Hoyas and you love the variegated ones, this is an easy, you can get these really cheap as well, um, and this is quite common as well. You could probably find this in just like a local garden centre. So yes, my beautiful queen, Syngonium Albo, are you kidding me? I'm not even going to try and lift her, let's just show you. Next one is actually right here so this is my syngonium elbow i'll give you a little close-up i'll put it on the screen um but this again um is so easy i started out with this plant with two leaves it was a two leaf cutting and a year later it's now this i'm growing it up a moss pole i've got about three vines i think as you can see she is a variegated plant as well so you get all these different varieties of leaves it just makes the whole plant look different and unique um, and you get and you get all different kinds of variegation. I've got some yellow, some green variegation, white variegation. I've got all white leaves. Again, will eventually die, but that's fine. They look pretty for now. Um, yes, I I love love this plant. It's like an original plant for me, and it was like a big wish list plant for quite a long time, a few years ago as well. It used to be uh, a bit more expensive and a little bit more harder to find a few years ago as well, but now you can pick them up for like so cheap and so easily. I've had her again on my south facing window in direct sun for probably, um, well, most of her growth life, really. Um, most of that growth is because of my south facing window and I've not long just moved her um, by my wall on the floor because her moss pole is just way too big for my window. Um, but I mean, again, I've got the LED light in front of her. So obviously if you give it more light, you're going to get more variegation, but also it could be so much light that it's too much variegation, so you just start getting all white leaves, which is obviously not good, like the plant is not going to do very well from that, so um, you kind of just have to kind of balance. Um, obviously it can revert as well, just go like fully green with, with not much sunlight, so yeah, it's just kind of finding that balance between not much... I mean, I've had mine on a south-facing window, and um, she's been doing fine. But, um, again, that's mine. I live in England and don't get that many sunny days. But 
But yes, um, obviously I had to include her because she is one of my favourites. I think she always will be. She is so easy, so easy to take care of after doing so many cuttings. She's also a good, she's also a good plant to just take cuttings from if you want to give them to a friend or start trades. Um, and you know that she'll just grow back so quickly. You know, that's always good. But um, yes, my Syngonium elbow, absolutely love her. Okay. Okay, so the next one you probably wouldn't see on these kinds of videos because this is kind of considered, well, it depends who you ask, I suppose. These can be um, tricky and um, a little bit fussy. But, I mean, for me, oh, right, I should probably say what this is. This is a string of spades. I've talked about this video quite a lot lately. This is literally taller than me. <laughs> she is extremely long she's got these cute little vines at the top she's so cute um her leaves are absolutely beautiful she's got this silver splash i've managed to get the the bigger leaves which i'm really pleased about obviously compared to these tiny tiny leaves and um i find this plant so easy to take care of and that's all because of watering um i think a lot of people say to let these this is a succulent so to let these kind of plants just fully dry out but um maybe not <laughs> again you can tell when to water by feeling the leaves at the moment um i just watered this a few days ago so at the moment the leaves are really solid and firm so they'll be really soft and you can tell by the leaves when they do need um to be watered i definitely do need to take some cuttings from mine to make it fuller and have more vines um again this plant just grows so quickly i've had i've had her living on my south facing window most of her life really i've again not long just moved her on top of my cabinet but she still gets obviously the side of the grow lights just hanging down but yeah i think this plant would definitely appreciate high light uh, so i mean th for me it's just been so easy to take care of and plus it's been flowering as well you get these really adorable little flowers actually she's flowering nearly on like every leaf right now i mean she's going to she's put out these little um flower stalks which is so cute she's just a different plant to um, my other succulents and the other plants that i have in my collection and these obviously are very cheap um you could get a whole plant for very cheap just at like a garden center or um online or something so yes i definitely recommend that plant even though i think people kind of get a little bit intimidated by the care and like the watering it's kind of the same with string of pearls but if you keep on top of the watering and don't let her fully dry out then i think um she just does the best okay so the next one is another hoya and this is kind of a new favorite for me well newish and that is my hoya super silver yeah it's just definitely one of my favorite hoyas my favorite plants um it's got these beautiful silver shiny foliage these beautiful leaves they honestly just don't look real i mean the shape and they're so the leaves are so thick and round and silver and beautiful i absolutely love this plant i mean yeah you get all different kinds of um like variegation on the leaves as well i mean on this line as you can see it's um more green with a little bit of silver splashing can't really see then you get more leaves like that one um so yeah, this is, it's just beautiful, it just stands out. If you like your silver plants and you like silver hoyas, um, definitely recommend this plant. Again, one of my easiest, it's just absolutely taken off. I got this as a very small little pot of a few vines and I really haven't had this plant that long, maybe like six months maybe. And um, yeah, she's just, the past few months, she's just absolutely taken off and I can't believe all this new growth that I've had lately. Um, she's she's actually bloomed for me a few times now and they was absolutely beautiful um again so if you like blooms and flowers she is living in my cabinet um i wanted her to get like the best conditions even though she was perfectly happy living on my window you know like hardly any humidity um direct sun 
and um, again like so easy to tell when this plant needs watering just like fill the leaves or or another tip um, the same with like all the plants that I'm showing um, just like pick up the pot and see if it's light if it's if it feels very light then you know it could do with the water or you can always get a moisture meter that really helped me when I was just starting out with plants um, it just helps you to get used to your your plant it helps you to get to know them and to get to know their like watering needs and I never really use that anymore because uh, I've just gotten used to when to water all my plants but it's a really good um, product to help you when you just first start getting into plants um, but anyway back to this plant this one's pretty cheap as well um, you could probably get a few cuttings from the vines I've seen some on Etsy and eBay um, or you could get like a little full plant of it um, for not too expensive either I mean I see this on sale like quite a lot but I don't know, I don't really see this plant in many people's collections and um, I absolutely love this plant. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the silver. I didn't think I would love it as much um, as I did when I first got it. <laughs> when I first got it, it took me a little while to fully be in love with it. And now I'm just, as you can tell, I think this is one of my plants that I would save if I could only pick like five or ten. <laughs> I mean, I hope I never have to do that, but... Okay. Okay, so another one is a climbing philodendron. A fairly newish one, actually, for me. And that is my little baby philodendron silver sword. Um, I'm just absolutely loving this plant lately. Again, silver foliage. I think, I've, I think I'm a little bit obsessed with... Uh, silver leaves but there we go uh, obviously this plant is still very small um she's still quite new to me so uh I mean, to be fair though i just treat her like all my other philodendrons um she does live in my cabinet but uh, i think this plant generally is easy you could have her outside of the cabinet and she would be fine again i think she definitely needs a moss pole um she's all actually she's already rooted into it which i only just realized today which i'm so pleased about she's not been on this moss pole too long um so that will just really help with again getting those big leaves that i really want i actually chopped off a few leaves a few weeks ago and she's actually already putting out this growth point so she's actually growing really quickly she has pushed out a couple leaves in my care she's got another baby baby leaf oh just there as well um i just think this plant is so cute and absolutely beautiful like she's honestly stunning these leaves i just wish i got this plant sooner um you can literally find these anywhere uh, this is actually two plants that i potted in one um one i got just as a little baby in like a six centimeter pot and that was like 4.99 the other a friend gave to me um so yeah these are very cheap and like very accessible and easy to find Again, really, I just water like all the rest of my philodendrons. Um, the leaves will get a bit, they will start looking a bit sad and like flopped over when they are dying of thirst. <laughs> you want to try and water before that, just before it starts getting like really dry. So yeah, not too much else to say about this plant other than I love her. She's absolutely beautiful. Very easy to find, very cheap, like I said. And um, yes, at the moment she is, she's doing really well for me. She's really easy and um i would recommend her okay so the next one is another philodendron one actually that i i don't talk about enough and that is my philodendron green or golden princess um this i've had this one for about three four years and i absolutely love her i've always loved her she's um I mean, she's beautiful. She she just looks absolutely amazing. She's one of the easiest plants in my collection. Um, this is probably the one that I should have mentioned first because she's probably the easiest out of all of these in the list. And she's also, I mean, I never see this plant around. Um, I never see this for sale. I never see anyone talking about her. I think she is underrated because um, of how easy she is. And she's such a good beginner plant, um, especially if you want to start getting into philodendrons. Her leaves are so thick and um, I just, yeah, everything about this plant I love. She is extremely fast growing, even though she's been in this pot for like probably over two years now, she's still pushing out leaves. I've got actually like two, three plants, oh sorry, <laughs> I've got like two, three plants in this 
pot and she's always grow oh my gosh is that a whole other plant oh how cute this whole other baby plant just starting there yeah i mean i've got a new plant just here so um she could definitely do with a repot but even i mean she's not getting the best care to be honest she lives just in the corner of my desk she honestly hardly gets that much light and um i water her when she's maybe a little bit too dry and she looks amazing well she's got a little bit of a dead leaf there but that's like an original leaf so just ignore that but and she's also just got this like beautiful shine to her like she i mean she is really dusty <laughs> but as you can see like she is like really shiny and she just kind of shimmers i love her um <laughs> so yeah this is um number one in the list that i recommend to you and you can get these really cheap as well even though i don't see them for sale i think if you search for it you or i've never actually seen this in a garden center or a plant shop either but online you definitely would find this i got this just as a baby tiny little baby plant so cute for literally like 3.99 but yes that's all I have to say about her. Okay, so the next one is another philodendron, very similar to the one that I just showed. My Rojo Congo philodendron. Again, I never see this plant around. You don't really see this plant um, uh, smaller either. Like, I mostly, if I have seen this plant, they've mostly just been big. Um, like, these plants can get massive and beautiful. Mine, I've not, I have neglected a bit, to be honest, lives in the spare room. She hardly gets that much light. I don't really pay too much attention to her. Again, this is one of the plants that I don't really talk about, but she is beautiful. Um, you probably won't really be able to see, but she's got these beautiful, like, chocolatey red um, backs of her leaves, especially when the new ones come in. And she has just got this emerald, this emerald green colour on her leaves and um, these beautiful striking red stems. Again, she is just so easy, um, so easy to tell when needing to be watered. They're, she's very similar to my golden princess with the feel of the leaves and like when to water. <laughs> this, this plant has been in this pot for... A couple years oh she's dry she's really dry i don't know if this plant could do with a moss pole because she's like forming aerial roots all the way up here so she probably could do although i've never seen this plant on a moss pole so that would be interesting to see if i could get these the big leaves on this plant maybe i'll have to try it in an experiment i mean oh my gosh look at the color in that light it's beautiful yeah, I mean, even through all the neglect, she's still pushing out leaves. She's maybe not as fast growing as that one. And like the rest of the plants that I've talked about today, but that is probably purely because I have not given her the best care in the world. But still, I definitely recommend her to a beginner plant parent or you're just looking to buy more for the dendrons. She's a great space filler and she looks amazing. I have her in this pot. I'm not sure how I feel about the pot, but... <laughs> Anyway, this this plant I do love when I see her and talk about her. I must talk about her more. Okay, we've only got two left and both of them are philodendrons. This one I was kind of putting off um, to talk about because she, well, she's not looking her, her best right now as she's looked. Her leaves, well, she honestly just looks really unwell. Um, she's had, she had thrips not long ago, but I cannot see any, oh wait, Never mind. She got thrips. <laughs> okay. Anyway, other than that, she has been so easy for me. Um, again, again, I neglect this one, but she has been thriving lately. Um, honestly, I don't even know why because she, for the I've, again, I've had this plant for about well, I've had the, her this plant the same time as I've had. Um, the last two plants that I just showed you like probably like three four years um, And I got her as just a tiny little baby and so she's been in this pot for again a couple years and um, But just the past year She has just taken off for some reason. She's been loving life put out all these new vines. Well, she looked a lot better um, before she got thrips before I 
like really badly underwatered her. But I mean, she's a philodendron and she's very easy. Ew, that's so gross, don't touch the leaves. Very easy to care for. She lives on my south facing window. She loves the light. Um, she's very easy to tell when to water the pot alone, just feeling how light it is. I know that she needs watering and um, also the leaves will kind of curl and look again very sad um, but I think it's just about don't take what I say too seriously I think when you buy a plant um, it's good to have kind of these rough care guides in mind but just go with the flow with most of my plants I've just brought them knowing not much about them and just kind of winged it and that's how most of my plants have thrived by just me getting to know them and um, seeing which they like better because all plants are different, uh, different situations, etc. Anyway, I'm going off <laughs> on something. Um, but yes, I don't really have too much else to say about this plant. She's not looking great, so unfortunately, she's, it's not a great video to be talking about her. But overall, generally, I do love this plant. Okay, so the next one, well, actually the final one is um, my philodendron micans, which is the philodendron heartleaf. Oh my gosh, did I even say the name of that one? Um, which is the philodendron heartleaf, but velvety, which um, is kind of perfect, really. You want a training plant, you want a velvety plant, and also dark and beautiful, Then, and you've got the micans, and she is literally just so easy. Um, again, unfortunately, lately, Mine has not been looking too great. She's been suffering with pests for a long time and I didn't notice, so she's gone downhill in the last few months, unfortunately. But I mean, before that time, she um, was was growing beautifully and she had so many vines and she was so easy. Um, I mean, all plants are gonna get pests, so you can't really avoid that, but um, that's fine. You just have to deal with it when you notice the pest. I really do love my philodendron micans. Um, she has lived on my south facing window, basically, since I brought her. It's only been recently that I've moved her to a west facing window, I think it is. I thought maybe she was just getting a little bit burnt from the sun, but now I don't know if that was pests or... <laughs> Again, you just have to kind of see and see like how your plants do and just like throw them in the deep end and see how they swim, you know? Um, same with the Hartley philodendron, um, the, the leaves will get sad and floppy and they'll curl when they need watering and I've taken so many cuttings from my micans as well she is always growing she grows so quickly even when I take I've taken like so many cuttings as I said even when I've taken all these cuttings she pushes out um leaves really really quickly pushes out new vines I definitely do recommend her she is a beautiful but easy um fairly easy plant and also really cheap you can really just find micans like anywhere which is good so yes, I think we've come to the end of my list. These are some of my easiest and honestly some of my, my favourite plants and um, I wanted just to talk about uh, some of the ones that you don't really hear about on these kinds of videos. I really enjoyed making this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. If you liked this video, give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you want to see these kind of these kinds of videos more, then let me know. Uh, and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye!